here today. Now, here's a question for you. Would you like to save on your groceries? Would you like to save 40% on your kitchen waste. Root to stem cooking is the best way to get more nutrients and save money. Chef Randy Felton shows us how. Hey, everybody. Oh, yeah. I love this topic. It's a good topic. Stop wasting in the kitchen. You will save the environment. You will save money. It is very good for your health. To try and eat everything. Taste buds. Taste buds. Yeah. You, like, it's actually good. The stuff that we're throwing into the compost. Um, you could be eating. The worms, Some are of gonna it. Be, the worms are going to be very upset with this segment. They're going to be very yes, upset. They're not going to be too happy with this they segment. They want the good stuff. But you, you're going to save money. So basically, um, the movement like five years ago it was nose to tail, mm -hmm. right? And now this, like with the all plant based diet, we're looking at root to leaf. Root to leaf. Root to leaf. Got it. So we want to utilize everything. Yes. So for an example, I brought some kitchen scraps just from like one day. Okay. One day. Is everyone ready for this? Uh oh. Ready to Here we go. Look at this. Oh! So this is all the stuff that you want to put into the compost, right? So the ends of your tomatoes, the ends of your carrots. Yes. And this is all the edible all stuff. The I mean, like the onion peels stuff. don't really belong in there. But yeah. like I could see some chefs looking at this be like, um, vegetable soup. Right? <laughs> Which would be like, I mean, sure, you could put some things in there like garlic and ginger, bring that up and make it tasty. Yeah. But I think we can be a little bit more creative than that. Okay. What I can we, we do? I think we can work a little bit harder to get this this down. Right. So I brought some some dishes today. And um, just to kind of utilize things. Um, cauliflower is right now. Yeah. Going back and up in price. Remember last year, like $6 a head? It got really ridiculous. If I'm paying $6 for this baby, yeah. I want to utilize everything. Mm -hmm. So this is actually all edible. These okay. leaves are fantastic. They're tasty. The root's actually really, really delicious. And it's got some crunch to it. Okay. So what I did here was a little buffalo cauliflower wing. Oh. So instead of using chicken, I used the actual cauliflower florets. That's not meat there? No, and then I breaded it, and I deep fried it, and then I tossed it in barbecue sauce. That's so smart. It's pretty tasty, I'm not yes. going to lie to you. Yeah, right? A little salt and pepper goes a long way. Okay. But then what I did for the blue cheese, kind of a play on a chicken wing, is I took these the yes. stems, and I chopped them all up, and then I sauteed them lightly, and then put some blue cheese in there, and some oh. lemon juice. So now you dive into that, and it's 100% plant-based, and yes. it's got the blue cheese, it's got the barbecue sauce. You know what? You feel like you're eating chicken wings. You can have a beer, you can watch a football game, and you might actually lose weight. Yeah, yeah. While you're doing right. it, you that's can try. Right. You can at least pretend low to say that. Low-calorie beer. The low, no, the low calorie the blue cheese, it's fine. It's all base. good, right? That's amazing. See, that's fantastic. So good. Okay, asparagus. spring is coming. Yeah. Asparagus, everyone knows the trick. Yes. What's the trick? Right? Just cut off the end. Like, well, usually people are throwing these out. Don't mm -hmm. do that. In springtime, when the asparagus is in season, it's such a short season, we buy it every time we go to the grocery store. Right. So save those. Put them in the freezer. Okay. And accumulate, like, you know, five pounds, six pounds of, of it. Of these things. Of these like things the here. And they're stems. woody and they're, they're harsh, right? Yeah. But you make a soup with that. Okay. And then by the time you put it in your Vitamix and you blend it all up, yeah. you've got a free soup. Oh, I right. see. Yeah, why are we wasting this stuff? It's purely edible, especially if you put it into a soup. You're not gnawing on it. You're not gnawing so it on matter it. Yeah, if you're going to strain woody. it through, and a little bit yeah. of creme fraiche goes a long way, a little bit of olive oil. But then when you think about it, your food costs, and the restaurant personality, I'm always like, that soup cost me zero. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, it that's, that smells good. like eight bucks to me. You know what I mean? It's like, you've got to make it happen somehow. <laughs> good stuff. So that's how it goes. You can do the same thing at home. Okay. Fennel, my yes. favorite vegetable in the entire world. This is just like, oh, this is like, it's up there. Maybe not the favorite, but it's up there. It's, it's up, up there. there. And I feel like the best part are these actual stalks here. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they're a little bit woody, they're a little bit stringy, but if you slice them paper, paper thin, yeah. and then add some citrus, for some reason, grapefruit, orange, olive oil, salt, pepper, Oh my God. It's you put good, that in front huh? of anybody and use it as a side. You can use it as an appetizer. You can do anything you want. Fantastic. It also help you out with your knife skills because you want to slice that paper thin. Absolutely. Okay, okay. so that's going to help with the texture issues if you slice it paper thin. What a great way. Free salad right there. Free salad. Right? Free your salad, salad was sitting right? in the compost Everything's making free a here. salad. Um, how about over here? Okay, this is actually a really interesting one because I've been throwing away leek tops forever or at least putting them in soups because yeah. we always just utilize this and we think that that's the, the money part, right? Yeah. And so what we want to do is we take a look at these greens and I never really thought about it as I did some research on this and as I cook these up, they're really quite tasty. And all I did was saute them. So I went heavy, heavy ginger, heavy, heavy garlic, lots of chili, mm -hmm. olive oil, sauteed it for like two or three minutes, hit it with a little bit of white wine, 
oh my stars. It was just Good like stuff. pop, but it was almost like a hearty spinach. It was like mm. spinach's older brother showed up and was like, what's up? Punch <laughs> you right in the face, right? It was fantastic. So a little smoked duck breast and away you go. Nice, smoked Asian duck flair. breast, I like that too. Okay, so what do we have in here? Okay, so broccoli, I mean, let's be honest. Like, like the flowers, the broccoli aren't the greatest thing. Well, that's all I ever eat, though. You got it all wrong. <laughs> you got it all wrong. <laughs> it's like 100%. And that's how it goes. That's how it goes in my household. Like the kid loves the little broccoli trees, right? Yeah, little but trees. I like I just peel this back and yeah. I eat that. And you almost eat it raw. It's crunchy. Really? It's crispy. It's better than celery. It's good for you. Okay. So what I do in a lot of pastas, I did a pasta salad because I felt it would look better on TV. Mm -hmm. But what I do in a pasta with a hot one is I actually take it and I just cut it up really, really fine. I yeah. shave the the flowerets and so it turns green. And then I'll make a mac and cheese with it for the oh, boy. That's good. And the kids like, I get green macaroni and cheese. Yeah, that's the best thing in the okay world. With that. Yeah, come on. Yeah. You know who doesn't want that? Okay. So just utilize the whole thing. But this part right here, like I'm just amazed when I go to the grocery store and they sell the flowerettes. So like, I know. that's three times more money. I'm like, what'd you do with the rest? I'll just buy that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what you do with the stuff you throw out? Yeah, all the stuff you stuff. threw out. Okay, now potatoes. Okay, going back to Ireland. Yes. Um, yeah, all the nutrients for your potato are in the skin. Yes. So don't throw the skins out. And I hate peeling potatoes. Yeah, me too. Yeah, it's a pain. Yeah, like, no, you, you don't cut do. yourself with a peeler. It's mm -hmm. a terrible thing. So what I did is I boiled the potatoes almost whole, just chopped them up like six or eight, okay. boiled them, mashed them, added some bacon, mm. some cabbage, yeah. and some thyme, and a lot of butter. The Irish would call this a potato coal cannon. Mix uh -huh. that up, a little bit of uh, sour cream on top, a little bit of chives. Woo, Ooh, take care, brush your hair. Right? Yeah. But you're actually getting more nutrients in your mashed potatoes. Yes, uh, all the fiber, right, and all those nutrients that are in the skin, you need to keep that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so at the end we have radishes. Radishes. Right? Okay, so we're heading into spring. The first thing to come up, it only takes 21 days to, to grow a radish yeah. from the time you put the seed in the ground. They're and hardy. you get these beautiful things, and they're everywhere, and they're cheap as chips, right? Like, I think you pay like 80 cents for this, right? Mm -hmm. And everyone normally, you have to act pretty quick because the greens do kind of go ranted quite quickly. Mm -hmm. But if you get them fresh, you can utilize this in a salad. But what I did is I took the greens and I made a pesto with it. Oh. So just took the greens That's all off, smart. blended it up, a little bit of pine nuts, a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of garlic, yeah. and you know now you don't have to buy the basil. You just saved yourself yes. $2. Right? A little avocado, cucumber, yeah. pesto, woo! Listen, little things like amount to huge savings in the end, so it makes a lot of sense to just start thinking of interesting ways to use those greens. And we talk about greens all the time on the show. Why are we throwing them away? It's you actually part. need them in all of your meals it's throughout true. the day, all your greens. So thank you for that, Randy. No problem at all.